This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of world-class software like PDF Pen for Mac, PDF Pen Pro for Mac, PDF Pen for iPhone and iPad, PDF Pen Scan Plus for iPhone and iPad, Text Expander for Mac, and Text Expander for iPhone and iPad. Learn more about all their great products at smilesoftware.com. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, the road to Mac stock stops right here, right now. This is the last Mac stock show we will have before the big event. And that only makes it appropriate that I have Mr. Mike Potter back to uh, wrap it up and tell us the last minute updates for Mac stock. Mike, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for taking the time because I know you have nothing else to do. Oh, well, hey, you know, we're only, I think, uh, at the time this will be released, we're only, what, five days from Mac stock? So, nah, I don't have anything to do for the weekend. (laughs) Just put your feet up and relax, right? But hey, before I forget, thank you for all the amazing Road to Max Stock episodes this spring. I mean, I, I I tell you every year, and I'm not kidding, I learn so much about the speakers and the volunteers and everybody who's taking part in Max Stock because of this Road to Max Stock series. I love it. Well, thank you. I mean, it's it's first of all, it's it's my little bit to help support Mac stock, but I, I I should thank you because I get to meet people. Sometimes I know these people by reputation, but it gives me a chance to uh, to interact with them. And now I've already made new friends even before I get to Mac stock. So it's 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 a win 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 for everybody. I think. Well, I'm hoping reputation in a good way. And and also, a, a second note, uh, uh, apologies for poaching your volunteer. Norbert. Oh, that's perfectly all right. Yes, no, I was, <laughs> I was, I was delighted um, when, when that happened. It's like, okay, good. You know, Norbert, because he did such a great job for me uh, at CES. And then when I found out he was running camera for you, it's like, well, that's perfect. That just gives him more experience. Well, so. he, he, he stepped up at the last minute and, and I'm so appreciative of that. And that's kind of the spirit of Mac stock really. I found over these past, well, soon five years is that uh, everyone is just so willing to pitch in so willing to help and then wanting to find out how they can help again either uh, shortly after or you know whether it's packing up the, the the event at the end of the weekend or whether it's giving folks rides as Corky Heath does every year to and from the airport or if it's uh you know coming up in the fall and they say hey what can I do to help you make Max Stack 2020 not to jump ahead too far, but 22, how can we help make that better? And uh, so many of the things that happen at MaxDoc happen because of the feedback I've received from the speakers, because of the feedback I've received from the attendees, the feedback I've received from the, the volunteers. So uh, it, it truly is a uh, community effort. Mike, you know, that's one of the themes that sort of, I think, developed this year. Um, and I, I, I'm not going to go down a roster because I know I'll forget someone and I don't want to leave anybody out. But you, the the number of people that have, have come to Mac stock a year or two and now are, are involved in some way, whether they're a speaker, whether they're a volunteer, um, whether they're, you know, assisting in some other way. Um, I think, I think that's one of the, the best things about Mac stock from not just the conference standpoint, but I think that it's a tribute to the kind of event that, Max talk is that people want to help make it better because they have so much fun with it. Yeah, they really do. It It, it is a fun weekend. And uh, some of the folks you had on just these past few days, you had Brian Henson on who is volunteer extraordinaire. Uh, of course you had Janet and Cindy on um, tireless volunteers, uh, not to mention my daughter who helps out every year as well. Uh, this year we have a new volunteer at Max Doc. Um, his, his name is John, and and he he's the executive director for a local nonprofit agency. And he came up to me. He's a friend of mine, and he said, "Hey, how how can I help out? Can I come volunteer at Max Doc on Saturday?" Uh, we have Kim who comes back every year. We have Norbert now, um, you know, a freshly christened volunteer for Max Doc, and this is only his second year. And of course, you with Road to Max Doc every year. And uh, I feel like I, I may be forgetting someone, but, you know, I could go through the list of folks who volunteered through uh, all five years and uh, it's, it's almost endless. Yeah. So 
enough about the volunteers and, and that you can never say enough, but let's get on uh, with it. And by the way, folks, at this point, while you're listening to me uh, or listening to this, um, open another window, go to Mac Stock 2019, use the speaker code Mac Voices, get $70 off and join us in Woodstock this by the time this is released this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you will not be, you will not be disappointed. I promise. If you are come back and we'll talk, but you won't be. Um, so Mike, while they're listening to, <laughs> while they're doing that, let's, let's ask you to talk about just any updates to the schedule, any surprises, um, anything that you're willing to reveal that I tried to pry out of Janet and she wouldn't tell me. <laughs> yes, I understand you were trying to pry out this shirt design from her. Shirt design? She, she would not even, she claims that she, you don't know, but she wouldn't even tell us the volunteer shirt colors this year. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't. I can't tell you that. <laughs> then it's why a surprise. <laughs> all right. I'll, all right. Here's an exclusive. Five days prior to MaxDoc, an exclusive just for you and just for your audience, Chuck. The volunteer shirt color is daisy yellow. Daisy yellow. Okay. Daisy yellow. That's this year's volunteer shirt color. Got but it. nothing on the design. Nothing on the design. Oh, you know, I will tell you something, though. Um, this is kind of a surprise. And um, uh, folks who are, are coming uh, don't know this is going to happen. But I do have a little a little bonus for those folks who've been with us all five years of MaxDoc. So everyone who's, who's been to MaxDoc since 2015 on up through 2019, I've got a little little bonus surprise for everyone. And I think that's uh, it's just a way of thanking them for supporting MaxDoc from the very earliest days on up to where we are now. And uh, it's just, it's so important to me. And, and so, um, well, I guess uh, gratifying to know that Someone has enjoyed it so much that they wanted to come back year after year after year after year. And um, it, it's, it's a nice group of people who, who are coming back again uh, for their fifth year. And, and I'm honored to be able to, to give them just a little something, a little something as a thank you for being there every year. So that's a surprise. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I think a, a lot of what we talked about is... Um, pretty much the same, Mac Power Users 500 uh, live Saturday afternoon. We've got um, the My Mac Game Show Quiz, which is sponsored by OWC this year. That's uh, early Saturday afternoon. And we've got the Mac Stock Film Fest, uh, which is going to be Sunday afternoon. And a little preview of it Sunday morning. And Wally's been working really hard on that. We have 20-plus uh, submissions for it. I think it's going to be just an amazing way to showcase the talent of everyone who comes to MacStoc. And considering this year's theme is create, uh, I think it's the perfect fit for MacStoc this year. Uh, one thing that is new, though, and I will mention it, I, I um, just said their name just a moment ago, OWC is back again for the fifth year, sponsoring, supporting MacStoc, uh, being part of the community. Uh, and of course, MaxDoc is part of the community that they are in. Their headquarters is in Woodstock, Illinois. MaxDoc is based out of Woodstock, Illinois. And um, it, it's been really nice to have them uh, there in some way, shape, or form every year. And they're, they're back in a big way this year supporting MaxDoc for its fifth year. And one of the things that they're, they're doing is they put together three, three little workshop sessions for uh, the breakout uh, sessions on Sunday afternoon. Um, to show folks how to use external uh, storage devices with their iPad or how to upgrade a little bit older Mac. Or um, actually, one that's kind of interesting is a speed shootout between the internal SSD drive of the, the MacBook Pro and their Aura X2 SSD that they have. And I, I, it's just a nice little uh, tasting of some of their products, but also a little hands on for the folks who decide to sit in on those sessions. So that was really nice of them to put those together and I'm excited to be able to have them uh, Sunday afternoon. That's, that's great. I, I mean, it's, it's no secret that I'm an OWC fan. Um, I try to talk to Larry at, well, it seems like I end up talking to Larry at every trade show I go to because he's always there and they've always got something new and cool and, and useful to talk about. 
And so I, I'm delighted that of, of, of all the options out there, that OWC has been there for five years and is such a great sponsor. And, and I'll look forward to talking to them again this year. That's, that's wonderful. Yeah. They're going to um, be there in force. I think they're, I think they're going to have uh, five plus folks there on Saturday, and then they're going to have, uh, you know, uh, three, three or four there on Sunday as well. So oh, wow. uh, anyone who wants to, to chat them up, uh, one of the first things I ask you to do is just step up and say, Hey, thanks. Thanks for sponsoring Max talk. And thanks for helping to make this happen because uh, it really is important to thank the sponsors who support these small conferences. And, and there's a, a number of small conferences that take place all summer long uh, throughout the United States and throughout the world. And the sponsors being there um, uh, really plays a big part in allowing the organizers to, to make them happen. And in our case, OWC is that sponsor this year. I, it, and I can't, you know what, I want to echo that. I mean, it means an awful lot if you go up and, and thank them. Um, you know, naturally they're there. It's, it's business. You know, they, they want to sell product and they want you to be aware of their product, but just that, that small recognition that they're doing something to help support the community like they do so many times in so many places goes a long way, not just for Max talk, but across the board. So yeah, yeah by all means, <clears throat> that's the, Thank Mike, thank Barry, and thank OWC. <laughs> well, yeah, Barry's putting on, uh, you know, his evening events on Friday. He's got um, kind of a, a get-together Friday night for folks who are checking into the hotel. Any of the two-day weekend pass holders are welcome to kind of gather and, and meet and greet each other. And then uh, Saturday is kind of the, the more exciting night. We've got a full meal plan for everybody. Uh, we've got the game night is coming back again this year. We've got a selection of um, iOS games and uh, some card and board games and things like that for folks to sit down and play. And there's something else that may be happening Saturday night. It's a little bit of a surprise at the moment. I can't quite reveal it yet, but I'm hoping it it um, uh, takes place. And I think folks will be really excited to have this uh, happen. So if you are coming to MaxDoc, keep an eye out for that as well. You're not signing up people to storm area 51, are you? No, that's too far away. Okay. Maybe next year. Maybe, Maybe next year. Oh, good. Good. Just wanted to be sure. Um, so the schedule remains as published. Um, the session descriptions are all there. Folks, you've heard some of the, uh, you've heard pretty much all the, in fact, all the speakers I know um, on the road to yeah. Max Doc. Um, so now it's time to, to come and enjoy and, and enjoy meet new friends and have new great experiences and, and enjoy one of my favorite weekends of the year. I, I, I hope you can and will join us. And, and you did mention your, your speaker code Mac voices earlier. And I do encourage people to use that, that like you said, it takes 70 bucks off that two day weekend pass. And <clears throat> we're going to be selling weekend passes all the way up. Well, until Friday, really um, about the only only disadvantage possibly about buying a ticket that late would be I may need to mail you your T-shirt after the conference is over. <laughs> but other than that, uh, folks should know, too, that there are single-day passes available for Saturday or Sunday if you can't make it both days. And then if you can't make it at all, we do have the digital pass again this year, too. That was something new we started last year, and it's available again all the main stage talks are going to be recorded. All the main stage deeper dive sessions are going to be recorded. And I will, I will make a yeoman's effort to get the deeper dive sessions that take place in the breakout room recorded as well and try to get them into the digital pass uh, uh, also. Um, about the only things that won't be recorded would be the, uh, the morning yoga sessions with L. Newman and uh, the, evening, the evening events at the hotel. Uh, aren't going to be recorded either, but we're going to try to get everything else recorded and out there so that uh, anyone who buys a digital pass, by the way, folks who come and 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 buy a two-day weekend pass, get the digital pass included with that. Uh, but anyone who participates in the weekends gets a digital pass, can at least catch up or um, re-watch some of the talks that maybe they didn't catch everything on the first time around. Yeah, and I love the fact that you're doing that. Uh, it is it is such a great, great benefit for those who maybe cannot just just simply cannot get there, um, and also for those who who do get there, and they have a conflict with the sessions. 
that they, you know, they want to go to, um, or they just, as you said, just want to rewatch. So the, the, the digital pass is, is an outstanding, an outstanding thing. And especially for the afternoon breakout sessions, uh, you know, we do, uh, uh, counter program them against each other in the afternoons. Now in the morning, you get a chance to see everybody's 20 minute kind of introductory talk about their topic. But in the afternoon, when we break out for the deeper dives, they, they are programmed against each other. So if there's two that you want to see that are programmed, you know, one in the main stage, one in the breakout room, at least you get the opportunity to try to catch that again on the, on the digital pass later. Smile and Text Expander are sponsoring this edition of Mac Voices. Do you want to do something quick and easy to improve your productivity? Want something that is bulletproof that will improve the quality of your work? Are you looking for a utility that can integrate with just about any program on your Mac to make it better? If so, you're looking for Text Expander from Smile. Text Expander works pretty much everywhere on the Mac inside just about any program. Desktop publishing, email, web publishing, browsers, task management applications, chat applications, the list goes on and on. Because all of those require text entry, and Text Expander helps you enter text quickly and accurately. Have a word, phrase, paragraph, or page that you need inserted regularly? Text Expander does it with a few keystrokes. Have a word that you misspell frequently? Text Expander can help you fix that so that it never happens again. Want to standardize wording to customer inquiries across your entire team? Text Expander is the answer. With almost no learning curve and massive payback on the time invested, you should be using Text Expander. Visit TextExpander.com right now, download a free trial, and find out what so many of the productivity experts already know. Text Expander from Smile, the makers of world class software. Thanks to Smile for being the longest running sponsor of Mac Voices. Um, Mike, you know, one other thing about the speaker code. Um, sure, I, I would love it if you use my speaker code, but um, go back on the road to Mac stock. You can go back to the Mac Voices website, website. All the speaker codes are listed in the individual interviews. If there's somebody that really impressed you or somebody's session you're really looking forward to, use their code. I don't care. I, I really want you in Woodstock. I don't care whose code you use. I don't care if you use a code, but save $70 and use a code. Absolutely. Yeah. Anything we need to do to prepare, Mike, that you can think of other than just uh, get a little extra sleep because we won't be getting any there? <laughs> um, well, I will tell you that everyone who is attending is going to get uh, in, in probably the next day or so. I'm going to send out an update newsletter to everybody, let them know um, a, a few key things that they may need to take into consideration what time they should be there for registration, for check-in. Uh, best way to get to the conference center, where they can park, if they're driving on their own, all the kind of uh, detail-y type things that um, is all on the MacStack website, but it's nice to have kind of all in one place in that newsletter. And that's what I'm going to do uh, uh, over the next couple of days. I'll get that out to everyone. Um, the one surprise you didn't ask about is the lunches that we're offering this year. Those menus are, are, are uh, in place now. Uh, I try to do something different every year, and and once again, the the uh, culinary staff at the school has stepped up and come up with a menu. I think everyone's going to enjoy. Um, and one of the things that they do really well is they take into consideration um, all all the different dietary needs of the folks who are in attendance, and they do it really well. So, uh, if you signed up and you said, "Hey, I, I you know I have a particular issue I need to be concerned with," we've got it taken care of because they're aware of it and uh, they're going to, they're going to account for that as they put out the meals each day. Great. But you don't want to reveal the, uh, the menus. Oh, I can. Uh, Saturday is, I think we did this one a couple of years ago, but uh, folks seem to really enjoy it. And we're bringing it back again this year. It's the fajita bar, build your own fajita bar. So there's choices there for, uh, uh, you know, vegetarians and meat eaters alike. And then uh, Sunday, we have um, kind of a build your own salad bar uh, combined with uh, wraps. So uh, a really nice selection of different wraps that will be available um, for that as well. So my understanding is it's a build your own wrap as well, but uh, I'm not quite sure on that one. 
Okay, so this this is I've made some progress here because I've warmed the the color of the volunteer shirts and the menus out of you this year. So easy yellow and and the, well, now we've talked about the menus in the past, so I'm I'm perfectly willing to give that up. But oh darn, I was, I, I've uh, got a few surprises under the belt still for folks. So we'll <laughs> we'll we'll keep those for those who attend. That's great. Well, as I just discussed this with Mike before we started, I plan to, um, if all goes well, I plan to set up uh, a camera and be broadcasting live on Facebook Live on the Mac Voices um, Facebook page, the registration uh, table, so that as people come in, they get registered, they come over, say hello. So if you tune in there and um, check the Mac Voices website, but really just go to the Mac Voices Facebook and a page and group and find the information there. And you can, at least if you, if you can't be there, you can watch people come in and uh, get ready to have a great weekend. Yeah, I'm super excited by that because one of the things that Road to Mac Stock um, does super well is introduce everybody to the presenters. We've, uh, you've done a great job introducing folks to the volunteers this year, some of the other folks who are involved with Mac Stock, but we don't necessarily get to see the people who attend. And so I'm super excited by this idea to do a, a Facebook Live and uh, kind of introduce the world to these people who help make stock make make max stock max stock and uh i i think it's going to be really fun to watch well it was, last year we, we did a little bit of it um i think you ended up um sticking your face into the camera once um you know <laughs> and and so it's nothing formal folks don't don't feel like this is going to be a red carpet treatment it's just going to be very informal because everybody's there seeing each other and being in the moment so you get to uh you get to be a little bit of a voyeur on that yeah that maybe is not the best way to describe it, but I just did. So. Yeah, it works. It works. Yeah. So one last time, MacStock2019.com. And if you have to have a speaker code, you can use Mac Voices. Save that money. We'll see you in Woodstock. Mike, thank you. I will see you in Woodstock as well. Thank you so much, Chuck. And we'll see you in four days. Something like that. Looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Thank you to Mike and to everyone, all the speakers and everything, for participating in the Road to Mac Stock. Um, I, we will be doing some interviews lo- or recorded at the uh, at the event, so you can look for those as well. Until the next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page. And get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices, or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.